Welcome back my friend to another reaction video. I hope you're having a good day and you're not. I hope it gets better. This video is from Police Cam TV Watch. Mother gets her destructive daughter arrested as we're watching today. Let's go. On January 1st, 2024, officers were dispatched to a residence to address a family dispute. It was advised that a woman by the name of Sam Hickey threatened and attacked her mother. During the 911 call, Dispatch could hear items breaking inside the residence. Uh, where are they at? Yeah, I'm Pam Hickey. Where are they at, Pam? In my apartment. Where, where's, your, where's your apartment? Right there, 143. Samantha posted out two windows. She broke in doors. She kidnapped the baby. Jeremy just got the baby. Is, she that, is that her in the blue right there? She's trying to steal my grandson's clothes, my baby's clothes. Pamela. Yes. All right, what's going on? Samantha kidnapped my baby. Okay, who, who has custody? Do you have full I custody? Have, I have full custody. I have all the paperwork. She's been throwing everything at me, trying to kid, yeah, trying to kidnap the baby again. again, threatening to kill me. That's her. Okay. That's her right there. Arrest her. Okay. Hold on. Hey. Grab the baby and try to steal her again. Okay. Here, She's Pamela, stealing Pamela, stuff. Let me talk. Let me talk. Let me talk to you separately. She broke no, the window. Hey. Talking to you. Get out of the car. Why? Get out of the car. I'm going to yank you out. You're under Get out threat. right now. Stop. Get out. Now. I didn't say I wasn't going to get out. You don't yes, have to pull me like that. Once you start putting the car in, the, in, in, in gear, we're going we're to have an issue. Step out. Step this way. Can I see that you're at least talk to you? You can talk to me in a second, but I started this out on the wrong foot. Let me. I'll talk to you in a minute. You think I was going to back up a fucking 10 cops like this? I'm not stupid, okay? Thank you. They're good. Do you see what she's doing? Yeah, come over here. We're not going to see anything right here. We'll talk to you in a minute, man. We're just trying to get everything figured out. No, don't not leave me. You stand right there. I got stuff on the porch I got to pick up. So? Uh -huh. I mean, how does you want to go back to our Really? Here, well, what are we going to do? Yeah, that wasn't my fault. Pamela. It's by Michael, please. Yes, I want to take the We'll talk to you guys all in just a second. Come here. Give me a safety. Come here. You guys are fing dicks, you know that? I'm going to take a seat right now. You know, like, we're trying to figure out everything. We're, we're, we're trying to and figure everything out. But then you jump in this car and you start yeah, putting the key in the ignition. Car. Okay, well, what did I tell you? I'm going to talk to you, right? And then you yeah, jump in this car and you're like, I ain't got nothing I to say to you. Say That's exactly what you said. Yeah, you said, I, say I ain't got that. nothing yes, to say to you. And then you pull your key exactly out and you start putting I the key in the ignition. I didn't say so that's why away. I grabbed you and I was taking I you out of the said, car. I just said I didn't want to talk to you and then so I was going to leave. Okay, well, I'm going to talk to you. Oh, we're talking. We just got here, dude. Yeah, and everyone's going to get to me. You guys have no idea what she did. Let me talk to your mom. Let me talk to your boyfriend. She hit me in the face and you're going to I'm taking no one's side. That's I just got here. I've been here for 30 seconds. Shot. No, because you were getting in your car. You said you don't want to do with me, and you're yes, about to drive off. Like, That's why you're in handcuffs. Mom. And you also are possibly showing a warrant. Watch How am I showing a warrant for what? Watch your foot. Wow, that family is a little messed up, you guys. Like, for the mom to try to call police on her daughter, saying she broke this and that, she really wants her daughter gone. And it's sad, you guys. You know, usually the parents are always looking up for the, the, their children and stuff, make sure they're okay. How you doing? You know, you you need something. But this mama wants her daughter arrested. So she must not be a good daughter, you know? Upon this, for some reason, she's not a good mama. It could be both ways. I'm just saying, I'm just saying what I'm saying, okay? Because there is mamas that are really bad, okay? But then there's daughters and, and sons that are really awful too. And, uh, but from what I see from the daughter is that she's a little demanding, a little like telling the guy, you, oh, you're going to leave or something like that? Like, What's the guy supposed to do? The police are there. And for her trying to get in the truck and leave, that pretty much is a lot. She know what she did. Okay, I'm just pointing it out. She's probably like, oh, I got to go. I broke a window. Did this and that. I got to go. I got to go. But, uh, yeah, let's keep on watching, man, because we need to find out. What, I don't know who that is. It must be her boyfriend. Or if that's her boyfriend, oh, that boy needs to. I'm just saying. <laughs> Sometimes people are in love with the person or something don't see the bad stuff on the side of uh, inside that person which is kind of sucks because they're in danger i'm just saying I'm, I'm not saying i'm just saying from what i'm saying here okay <laughs> but uh yeah well, let's see because he kind of got mad to the police officer i wonder what he's got to say but let's keep watching but it doesn't look good for the daughter i'm just saying 
You're trying to leave when the cops trying to talk to you? This is not a good thing. Howdy. And the arrest well, we got to figure out what's going on first. I'm kidding me. She's attacking everybody's house. She's very violent. She did all of this while threatening to kill me, and the dispatcher heard her. Okay, yeah, I know. Our dispatcher did hear that. She destroyed the room. Was that from the inside out? Yes. Okay, how did, how did your daughter get inside? Well, I did not let her in today because I kicked her out this morning. Okay, so you kicked her out this morning. Jeremy let her in. Is, is that her boyfriend? Yes. Does he live here? No, but I was letting him. It was Christmas. Rip that child out of your arms. That child needs to see a doctor tonight. She's okay. got back problems. She's got broken arms. Okay. Even if she's moving around and happy, yeah. she's going to be something wrong. I know. Okay. We'll, we'll get it. We'll, we'll, I'm glad you said that. <laughs> Thank you. Was, was the little kid getting yanked and stuff? She kidnapped her before. <laughs> She was having a nap, and her mom started banging and slamming everything in the house. Okay, was, was she at the door? Did she? Was... No, she was in the door. Okay. And oh, that—that's when you said. No, you're not gonna wake her up again. You didn't let her sleep all night. You've got okay. to. You've got to let her sleep, and then she's like, "I'm gonna kill you." Okay. She got in my face, and where, where was I... this all happening at? She's here in the hallway. This is, she went through the house, breaking everything. I'm trying to clean up after Christmas, and she's destroying my home. Okay, what time did this all start, family? I don't know. <laughs> baby, Grandma's gonna hold you. Just a minute, baby. I'm sorry. And he won't lift a finger to help. She threw all kinds of stuff at me. I'm gonna be bruised up tomorrow. She doesn't need to see all of this and go through this. <laughs> You've been through this before. She's got PTSD from. Okay, so the baby's taking a nap. Okay, and then she. And I hear all the loud banging in the kitchen, and she's starting to wake up. So I go to tell her no, not anymore. And she tries to come down the hallway, making loud noises. You, I'm gonna kill you. I don't want them back in my house. Either one of them. I don't want Is them back he a roommate? No. We heard loud banging in the kitchen. Your, your daughter is, starts walking down the hallway, knowing she's gonna kill you. Yes. Why was she? Not in my face. So, so I slapped her, not hard. I slapped her. Yes. In the mouth to make her because all night she kept us doing this all night long. She went ballistic. She hit me twice. She knocked me into the bathroom. And I had Phoebe. Okay, when she when she went ballistic, she hit you to where she hit you. She hit me in the face. And then she pushed me, shot me in shoulders. She hit me in the stomach. And then she started throwing everything at me. I'm sure I got a red welt on my forehead from when she walloped me with something. And she was throwing everything in the room at me. Everything. So then after she breaks your windows and stuff, then what happened? I'm just trying to get the cops here. Then, oh, then she climbs out the window and snatches the baby from me. Where was the baby at its time? In my arms. I was outside telling her, please stop. Stop. She was throwing everything out and busting the window out. What I need is for them to go away. Okay, so then she grabs the baby from your arms, then what? Yeah, I'm trying to chase her through the conflict, and I can't keep up with my bare feet. I'm screaming for help. Finally, some neighbors come out and they're helping. And, and this girl says she backtracked and she's back in the apartment, filling up her car with stuff. Mm -hmm. Now, she, if she thinks she's going to steal my grandson again, I got news for her. She's going to prison. I, if you want to see the custody court paper, yeah, I, I do need to see that. Okay, let me get it. They have no rights. And so mm -hmm. these kids are 18, they're mine, all three of them. Everything's all messed up in here. <laughs> it's just drunk. You guys, all I gotta say is if the boyfriend let the da the daughter in, and he's an accomplice to that man, cause cause he knew how she is and she he probably knew she probably wanted to go get the kid. So he's about to probably go to jail too. You know, I'm I'm just pointing that out. Now that daughter looks like she's, she sounds really awful, you guys. And and then they had they have a, a witness in that she grabbed the child from her arms and same for the 
you know, for them to get a hospital check the, the child, make sure he's not, um, uh, you know, has broken anything in his body. I'm getting, I'm saying, cause she said it was a he, or a he, yeah, right. But that is sad, man. It's, it's, oh, man. See, her mama's done. Her mama don't want that daughter around anymore. She saved Deacon Tanner prison center prison. And I mean, it's sad to say, you guys, but honestly, the mama's thinking about the kid, okay? Because there's no way a kid can grow up with a mother like that. Oh, no. You never know. But, man, we've seen all this. I don't know if you, we, uh, we've seen in uh, this channel, actually, you know, videos. I was thinking about, I was on my other channel. I need to fix reacts. But we've seen videos where moms, usually moms, I think we haven't seen dads that just go a little psycho and, and, and send their child to another earth, you guys. And, yeah, we, we don't want that. And especially the mama don't want that neither. Because you never know. You never know. And, uh, yeah, but it sounds like the boyfriend is not good neither. Yep. He's, he's probably going to get some charges something. I think he probably will. Because she's saying he don't want her and him. And he was the one that let that woman in there. And uh, hopefully this, she wasn't the first one to strike the daughter. Because they could see it as her assaulting the daughter. But if the daughter assaulted her first and she slapped her back trying to get her away, then that's a different to story. You know, that's being in, in defense mode. But, uh. These videos are sad to see you guys, family going through this kind of stuff. My house! Got my mother. I wanted her to see her kids over Christmas. I wanted to try to get her into a rehab. When, when, uh... Sam, Jeremy did nothing. So, when, this whole time, what, was Jeremy just standing there not saying anything? He hid in the kitchen. Okay. He would do nothing, and I was begging him for help. And he did nothing. And then the dispatcher heard him cussing at me. What, Who's that know, man yelling at me? Sounds like you, you need to just cut ties with them. Oh, together. completely. I'm done. They lost. They're not going to see their kids again. I tried and tried and tried because I feel bad. And Ella, they'll never see you again. Um, I was just sitting in here. You see my blinds? My dog's kind of ruined the bottoms of them. Mm -hmm. So I can kind of see what's happening oh, now. Here. Perfect view. Started, I see some tubs and other stuff just had been thrown out that window. Mm -hmm. and was the window already broken at that time? Yes. Okay. The ball was crawling out of it. Okay. The moment she got out of it, she walks right over to Grandma. Can I? You can just visually. Okay. So I'm Grandma holding the baby like this, looking at the wind, that, looking in that direction. She walks over, comes over to this side of Grandma, grabs, I don't know the kid's name, but grabs the kid, the top of the kid, and goes, Yanks her out of the arms. It was not nice. I came out, and Grandma's off screaming somewhere. Mm -hmm. uh, the blonde is continuing to carry stuff and put it in the red SUV, SUV out, there. out there, which I got pictures of it, but I'm sure you. No, I already, I got her in custody. Yeah. Um. And the blonde is just going off on everyone that walks by, everyone that says anything to her. I don't know if she was trying to protect the child. I don't even care. Mm -hmm. You don't yeah, yank, yank a yeah. child like, like... Yeah, I totally understand If that. you had been here, you'd have arrested her immediately. Like, even if she had custody, even if she was the mom, it was violent. And I'm surprised the kid is doing as well as she is right now. Can you kind of give me a, what, like a perspective of what you saw today, man? I was in the living room. Well, today I was in the living room cooking, whatever, making food. And then she was like kind of yelling or whatever with her friend or talking or whatever. I don't know because I was in the back room. Was it um, Samantha yeah, or Samantha. was it Pamela? Well, first it started off Samantha. They were in the back room with them. There was another girl, her friend was back there with her in the room. And um, she started... Samantha started like yelling or whatever, like whatever, and Sam or Pam started like getting out of hand and started uh, saying, You wake up the baby, this and that, or whatever, all kinds of bullshit nonsense that she's gonna kick her out or something hit her or whatever. And then, uh, so that was going on for like five, ten minutes of yelling back and forth. So I was like, And then finally, she, the Pam came out, and something happened where I think Pam or something fell on the baby or something. I don't know what happened or something. I don't know what happened, but the baby was on the like, pick guy I picked her up. And then I saw, I, I saw Pam go in the room and start hitting her, Samantha. Okay. She was hitting her, 
in the face and punched her, hit her, whatever, with her hand a couple times. And then so I think Sam hit her back too. And then Sam was throwing stuff. And then the mom was getting stuff and throwing stuff. And they were fighting both back and forth and yelling at each other. And then Sam locked the door so she wouldn't go in there. And then she goes, the Pam goes outside. And Sam said she broke the first window, whatever, the Joey's window. She said she broke it, which I couldn't believe she probably would do it. And then, so, they're out here, like, talking, whatever. And then Sam grabbed the baby from her mom. She would never hurt our baby. But she said something about she tried hitting our baby or something like that, which I kind of believe. Because, I mean, I just, I mean, there's another, I have another issue with, I'm um, trying to get CYFD and other stuff against her too because she's mistreating our child. She has custody of our kids, mm -hmm. but that's another story. But anyways, so she gets the baby from her and then she walked off that way and Pam started chasing her, screaming and yelling all over the went, but they went all around that way. And then she came back, she gave me the baby, Sam gave me the baby and I was in the big corner with her. And, and your dad, right? So, so this dude's the father of the child. But the grandmother has custody of their child. I wonder why. He said that's another story. <laughs> but I don't know. He's saying that supposedly the grandma is the one, Pam is the one that hit for Sam, which is the daughter. Um, and then they went at it and stuff like that and this and that. But he did say that Sam would never hurt a child. When it got to a point where she was outside and I guess janked the child like that. <laughs> so it seems like this guy's like pampering the stuff down because you know he's in love with the daughter and the daughter's a little by uh, little 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 you know what I'm saying? And he's just the dad and he's like, I can't live without her or something like that. But I don't know, you believe what he's saying? I mean, why why doesn't he have custody of the child? He's the dad, right? I think he could be able to get custody instead of the grandma. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> maybe I don't know much about custody, guys, but maybe there's something you know. You might want to let me know down in the comments why he wouldn't have custody of the child, but the grandma would. I mean, he's dad, right? Right. Yeah, I'm dad. Okay. And then after that, so anyways, she comes. I have the baby in my hand, and Sam's in the room getting her stuff out. And she goes and she's telling me, she's been telling she's telling me she had, so she gets a frying pan and she was going to hit Sam with it, but the door was locked. So she's trying to open the door to, she's like, I don't know if the operator told you or not, but she's on the operator while she's doing all this nonsense. Yeah. So she said she had a frying, she had, I saw her with a frying pan, she's going to hit her, Sam. She had it when I, when I parked, dude. Yeah. She, she had it tucked in her arm. Yeah, I didn't want to step in because, I mean, they're both at wrong, but still, there's no way she has to act like that, you know? She's the reason why I've been out of hand. She doesn't know how to talk to nobody and... Pamela. Yeah. And sh it's just it's nonsense with this, both of them too, but especially her too, you know? Mm -hmm. I mean, you can't blame everything on Sam, but it's it's out of hand. I try not to step in because... Um, sounds, sounds like it was a mess today, man. <laughs> well, it didn't have to be that way. Yeah. Because they both real react, especially Pam. She didn't have to act like that. She can just like, be quiet or close the door. She didn't have to go ape like that, you know? Mm-hmm. There's no need, need to act like that, especially with my kids in there, because she's. this is not the first time she's done that with my kids in there. She done it on July 5th, and I think that's probably why you, someone said she has a warrant. It's because she didn't go to a court date or whatever, because she, I was sitting right there, she goes up to my girlfriend, hits her in the face, calls the cops, yeah, uh, I, my daughter assaulted me, hit me, and then, I don't know if they came, I don't know if they came or not, but she has an assault charge for that, too, a, a battery. I believe the assault one was dropped. Like, you know, she called about that, but that's, that would have probably been her she was supposed to go to court this month for that, but that she called and just tried to get that dismissed. So I don't know if that was, that was supposed to be in Jan December, but that was another uh, case she just made up falsely. And she did that to me too. I had a, a battery against a false member. She went and hit me and then she called the cops and does and I never hit her. She hit me, called the cops. And the next thing I have to go to like uh, court and all that crap with her. And it's, we try, I try to stay away from her as much as I can, but with the kids and her and the situation we're going in right now, it's, it's not good. Yeah. So you're saying she is punching you several times? Hey! Can, can, we, can we just take a quick look at that? I don't know if anything's going to show up yet. Is this on your cheek? Is that from today or whatever that yeah. redness is? Yeah. 
Yeah, that's my name, that's my badge number, that's the police force number. Are you going to arrest her? Yeah, she's going to be going to jail. Thank God. Yeah. Oh, she broke my wrist when she ran me over with that SUV out there. Okay, well, that, that was the last time she kidnapped the baby, which is why I was so freaked out. I had to have surgery. She broke my wrist with the car, and APD screwed it up is there, so bad. Is there anyone in that room, panel? No. Why is she doing? Oh, she was stealing all my granddaughter's stuff. That's all the makeup and stuff that's in her car. She was stealing all of her perfume. Hey, Samantha, so I'm Officer Haynes. We had a little bit of a rocky start, but I was just trying to get everything freaking situated before I talked to everybody. So, you do have a warrant, okay? It's just a simple trespassing warrant. At the bare minimum, you're gonna be discharged with that, okay? And we're just gonna get you get your warrant taken care of. So, um, based off just the warrant and stuff like that, and your detained in the backseat of the car, I just gotta advise you your Miranda rights, okay? Do you understand each of these rights as I have explained? Look, it's wild, you guys. Like, the boyfriend was saying some stuff that makes the grandma, which is Pam, seem like she's one of those people that call police saying false accusations, you guys. But then again, he might just be saying that because, I mean, if if somebody has custody of your kids, why would you want to try to take your kid away? Okay, that's already kidnapping, straight up. Because you don't have custody of the child. And it seems like the boyfriend was helping too. So, mm, I don't know. It's it's a difficult video, you guys. You know, geez, he said, she said, she, he said, stuff like that. But, uh, like I said, the, the man was saying that they were going at it too. I mean, the Pam said that she did slap her daughter, but not that hard. Um, But, I don't know. I think the guy... I mean, I, I'm be, I'm be honest, man. If I was in the guy's position and I knew stuff could go down, why would I want to go to that place? You know, if if I really think that the mom or do, try to do like, especially accuse me of battery, like, why would you go, right? I don't know. Uh, that's the way I think. Like, I would stay. What? You all you want us going for Christmas? Uh -huh. Nah, you can send my gift. Yeah, yeah, you know my PO box. You can send it there. Oh, hey, you know what? We don't even gotta go. Let's do a video call, okay? Hey, Merry Christmas, everybody. Yeah, so I, that'd be me, man. I, I ain't stepping no place, man, where they're trying to get battery charges on me. I'm just saying, I don't know about you. But uh, the daughter knew what she was doing, man. Like, that's silly, man. And she already did it before, tried to kidnap. She knew what she was doing, okay? She just don't care anymore. But I don't know. What you think? Let's back, get back to this, man. But the boyfriend, a little convincing. I don't know. Maybe we don't know stuff about Pam neither, but I don't know. It seems like the one that right is the one with the custody of the child, right? That's what that's what I see right now. And them to you? Yeah. Having these rights in mind, do you wish to speak to me now? Yeah. Okay. So I talked to your mom. I talked to Jeremy, and it just sounded like this was just a big mess that got out of control. Okay. Your mom told me she slapped you first and all that kind of stuff. So what what started everything? Um. I was arguing with my boyfriend. Okay. And they were like yelling and stuff. And that's when I went to the bedroom. And, well, I went to the bedroom because she got in my face and was like, no, you're not going to do this again. You're not going to scream and fight. So I went to the bedroom. Did your mom say that to you because she didn't want she didn't want you arguing with him? Yeah. Me? Okay. And then so I went to the bedroom and was like, okay, just so I can get away from both of them. And she burges in there and then starts screaming and yelling at me. And I was like, oh no, you're not gonna do this. And then I was like, well, leave me alone. And then that's when she slapped me. So after that, I was like, oh no. <laughs> so I got really bad. And I was like, yelling and screaming at her right back. I was like, how oh, dare you hit me? And I yelled at my boyfriend, like, you're just gonna stand there and let her hit me? Really? And that's why I started gathering up all my stuff. I'm not like, gonna sit here and allow that to happen. <laughs> And then she starts freaking out, calling the cops, saying that I was trying to take my daughter and all her with nothing and my daughter's is in there. And the only reason why I grabbed my daughter when she was outside with her was because she raised her hand. I didn't know she was going to hit me or my daughter. That's why I took her. Okay. Then I brought her right back inside after she walked away. Like, I went in a circle just so I could avoid my mom, and I dropped my daughter off right there in the room. So I wasn't even trying to take her or nothing. I just didn't know what the she was going to hit. She was going crazy at the time. Okay, how did the windows get broken, or the one window get broken? 
Oh yeah, it was done. She goes in the bedroom gathering my, up my stuff. She was on the phone with the cops, right? Mm -hmm. She even had my daughter in her hand. And she grabbed a rock and threw it and she said, Oh, my daughter just broke the window. And my boyfriend was literally standing right there. Okay. Like, I did not break any window. Especially that's my son's room. So that's kind of, that's, that's really messed up. I'm not going to break a window to my old son's room. No. No thing she does love to do is fucking say she, she, somebody did something and it's really her. Okay, we're going to just make sure that warrant is current and valid and then we'll go from there, okay? Okay. Um, you said you wanted a cigarette though? Yeah, I have one on my purse and that's on my car. I know, I have some. Uh, we, if you want to smoke a cigarette, that ain't no big deal at all. Thank you. Let me confirm it, if it is valid. I'm I'll... pretty sure it is, because okay. it was just like a few months ago. Okay. Uh, if it is, I'll have you step out, I have to search you, and then I can get you a cigarette. Okay. Right. Come on, hey, uh, Pamela, yes, do, you, sir. do you know where his sweater is, Jeremy's sweater? No, and I don't, I don't, I don't give a Yeah, well, I'm just trying to get get him that so he can leave. Well, he has a bunch of my granddaughter's stuff in his car. Okay. He has all the kids' stuff in his yeah, car. Yeah, and, and so what, it, here's the slippery slope. Is uh, He's saying they bought all that stuff and it's all uh, theirs. And so. But all the makeup and perfume that was in my granddaughter's room that my daughter took, they don't have access to that. That's my 14-year-old granddaughter's stuff. Okay. That Samantha stole. So she's not getting any charges or anything on her? As of right now, I'm not even sure what I'm going to be truly charging, dude, because it just sounds like a ma massive mess of them both fighting each other. It's stupid. I mean, she shouldn't be even hitting anybody anyway to begin with, you know? No, I... I, 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 I got to agree with the man. I mean, if the the grandmother slapped the daughter first, that's the mystic, uh, uh, right there. So the the grandmother should be charged. I, I'm gonna be straight up. I've seen videos, man. Whoever slaps first or hits first is the one that that goes to jail. Because the charges on them. So I don't know if they're not doing it because the grandmother has custody of the child. But then I also seen where they call somebody to come get the child. You know what I mean? So that that I don't know what's going on in that state. Uh. But that's what I was saying. If the grandmother slapped at first, she's the one going to jail. But it seems the the Sam is going to jail because she got his warrants. Now, did I hear this man say that supposedly Sam was arguing with a friend? Right? And then that's when the mom walked in there and said, be quiet or whatever. Uh, and then slapped her. But then Sam was saying that this guy, was his name Jeremy or something like that? That they were arguing, and then the mom went in there and, and told her to be quiet. Or did I listen wrong, or did I hear wrong? Maybe I heard something different, but I think that's what I heard, you guys. So it seems like this guy was, like, you know, removing himself from the situation in a way. But, yeah, I mean, I, I, I know people that, like, you guys, and they say stuff that didn't really happen. And if the mom was like that, then... That child is in really, really, in a really bad situation. Not just because the mom's the way she is, but because the grandma's also maybe a liar. And uh, really quick to hit somebody. But she did slap the daughter. Because the daughter didn't want to be quiet. So, I hope she don't be slapping the child. I'm just saying, man. Oh, it's a bad video, man. This is a big, I don't, oh, there's nobody to defend up in here. <laughs> What's your thoughts on that? Let's get back to it. But I think this dude right here. I think I clearly hear him say that Sam was arguing with a friend and the mama went in there. But then Sam said, no, I was arguing with my boyfriend. I even told him, well, you gonna stand there while she slaps me? I, I agree, dude. No one should be hitting nobody. But she started it, you know. <sighs> it's not the first time she's done this. It's like the second time I witnessed. Yeah. And well, the one thing is she does have a trespassing warrant that's confirmed. Yeah. So... Other than that, I may, this may just be one of those things I'm going to type up and send it to the district attorney, you know, and let them decide if they want to do anything with it. Thank you for yeah. helping. Yeah, no problem. I called her and I heard was, oh, I'm yeah. I'm like, it's, it was kind of a mess when we first got here, too. <laughs> but, okay, so I'll get that all Get this baby calmed down and in bed and... And then you got an uphill battle. She's got a bunch of energy right there. Cleaning. Oh, she's two. She never stops. Mm -hmm. Oh, she's almost two, and she never stops. She knows not to come back. Right? Yeah. Thank you so much for everything. Okay. Hey, your your door's locked. Okay. Thank you, sir. Okay. Take care. Thanks.
What was that? You know how long we'll be in jail for? Probably not very long. <laughs> not very long at all. Um, do you want to step out? I've actually been to jail before, so. Okay. I would. I would guess. Don't be scared. Yeah, don't be scared. It's it's very soft now. <laughs> um, you smell good. Thank you. <laughs> Compose yourself, okay? It's not a big deal. I would guess that you're only there for the evening. Yeah. Okay. This will be on my record now that I get to jail. So the jail part doesn't go on your record. What goes on your record is whatever your warrant was for. So that that stuff is. But let's. Don't stress about this part. The main, the reason that you have this is the judge wants to talk to you. <laughs> and this is the way that we do that. Okay. So, I apologize, you know what it's like with moms. Samantha Hickey was charged with battery, domestic violence, child interference, and a misdemeanor warrant. What? So they charged her with the battery, you guys, but... Wow, the mama says she's the one they... I'm trying to defend the, the daughter because she, she looked like she was trying to kidnap the child, let's be honest, you know. But then she said she put her down in the living room, but then she had her stuff in the car, especially the other 14-year-old, you know, stuff. I think I think it would have been the other way around, I'm just saying. I mean, I mean, she supposedly went at it too with her, but the mama hit her first. So, Oh, it's a difficult video, guys. I leave it up to you. What you thought about the mom and the daughter, man, and, and Jeremy? Let me know down below. Thank you for watching. Hit the like button. It really helps this video and channel. And I would really appreciate it. You want to watch another video? You can watch them right here or this playlist. And I will see you next time. Bye.